children in this video we will learn how to multiply two numbers bhola is passing through the forest he saw a shiny object at some distance what is this shiny object it's a box bhola took a closer look and tried hard to open the box but the box did not open bhola noticed that the box was closed with a lock which could be opened with a four digit code looks like i'll have to use a four digit code to open this box thought bhola bhola noticed that this multiplication was written under the lock Well, now I understand. The code to open this lock could be thirty-seven times fifty-two. Bhola thought excitedly. He quickly wrote this multiplication on a paper. Here, the two-digit number thirty-seven is being multiplied by the two-digit number fifty-two, and. Because fifty-two is a two-digit number, I can multiply thirty-seven with fifty-two in two steps. Fifty-two is made by adding two to fifty. So first, I will multiply thirty-seven by two, and then multiply it by fifty. Thought Bhola. Thirty-seven multiplied by two is seventy-four, and now I will first write zero here, and then multiply thirty-seven by five. Thirty-seven times five is one hundred and eighty-five. Now. Finally I will add 74 and 1850. Oh wow! I got the code for this lock. The code for this lock could be 37 times 52 or 1924. Bhola quickly entered 1924 in the lock code. and the lock open but what is this there is another box inside this box and this box too has a four digit lock just like the first box this time this multiplication is written under the lock bhola thought here we are multiplying the three digit number 263 by the two digit number 19 since 19 is a two digit number i can do this multiplication in two steps i can write 19 by adding 10 and 9 so first i'll multiply 263 with 9 then i'll multiply 263 with 10 Nine times two hundred and sixty-three is two thousand three hundred and sixty-seven. Now, to multiply two hundred and sixty-three with ten, first I will write a zero here, and then I just have to multiply two hundred and sixty-three with one. Two hundred and sixty-three multiplied by one is two hundred and sixty-three. And now, finally, in this way, two thousand three hundred and sixty-seven plus two thousand six hundred and thirty is four thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven. Bhola quickly entered this code in the lock, and the lock opened. When Bhola opened the small box. He found a unique toy in it. We will see what this unique toy can do in the next video. Bhola took the toy out of the box and went home with it.
children in this video we learned how to multiply two numbers in the next video we will see some more interesting examples related to this In the previous video we learned how to multiply two numbers. In this video we will see some more interesting examples related to this. In the previous video we saw how Bhola opened the codes of the boxes using multiplication and found a unique toy from the small box. Now let's see what is unique about this toy. Bhola noticed that this toy has a slot. He could not figure out the use of that slot. So Bhola used it as a stand and placed 125 pencils in it. As soon as Bhola put his pencils in that slot, the number 125 appeared under the slot. Bhola got excited. Wow! This toy tells the number of items kept in the slot, thought Bhola. Bhola fell asleep thinking about this. The next morning when Bhola woke up, he saw that this multiplication was now written under the slot. Hmm, 125 is the number of my pencils. But what is this multiplied by 111? My pencils are looking much more than 125 too. Uh, could it be that this toy has made my pencils 111 times? Let me first find the answer to this multiplication. Then I will count these pencils and see if this really happened. Children, can you help Bhola to do this multiplication? Let's do this together. Here we are multiplying a three digit number 125 with another three digit number 111. So in how many steps can we do this? That's right, three steps. We can write 111 in the expanded form by adding 1 and 10 to 100. First, we will multiply 125 with 1. How much is 125 times 1? Exactly, 125. Now, we will multiply 125 with 10. We will do it easily in this way. First, we will write 0 here. Then, we just have to multiply 125 with 1. In this way, 125 multiplied by 10 would be 1250. Now, we just have to multiply 125 with 100. Because there are two zeros in a hundred, we will first write two zeros. And now, we just have to multiply 125 with 1. Now, by adding these three numbers, in the end, we get the answer to our multiplication 125 times 111 as 13,875. Bola too found the answer to this multiplication just like us and then counted the number of his pencils and found that both are exactly the same. Bhola cannot believe his eyes. <laughs> oh wow, this toy is really amazing. I'll see what happens tonight by putting 252 toffees in it. Who knows if this magic happens again, 
then this time I could get a lot of toffees. Thought Bola. Bola put 252 toffees in the toys slot and fell asleep. The next day, Bola saw this multiplication in the toy. How many toffees are these now? Bola is thinking. Children, can you help Bola find the answer to this multiplication? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. We can find the answer to this multiplication in this way. Well done children! Your answer is absolutely correct! Bola now has 252 times 222 or 55,944 toffees! Bola started dancing with joy on getting so many toffees. Children, in this video we saw some more interesting examples of how to multiply two numbers. Hello children, in this video we will learn to solve word problems related to multiplication. Babban has to start a new shop to sell school items. Babban thought, I will go to the city and buy more items so that I can earn good profit by buying them at a lower price. Babban reached the city to buy some items for his new shop. First, Babban went to buy 238 bags. The cost of each bag is 125 rupees. Now, Babban is thinking, how much money will he have to pay? Children, can you help Babban find a solution to this question? Children, Whenever we have been given the cost of one item and we have to find the total price of many items, then what process will we use? Exactly! The process of multiplication. The cost of one bag here is 125 rupees and we have to find out the total price of 238 bags. So, we will multiply 238 by 125. Children, can you find the answer to this multiplication? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. In this way, we can find the answer of 238 times 125 is 29,750. Babban bought 238 bags and after buying the remaining items, he opened his new shop. Babban has kept the price of each bag in his shop at 150 rupees. Babban's shop worked wonderfully. He is selling 8 bags every week. Children, can you tell how much money Babban will earn by selling bags in 8 weeks? Babban sells 8 bags every week. First, we will find out how many bags Babban will sell in 8 weeks. What do we need to do to find this? Exactly! The number of bags sold each week has to be multiplied by the total number of weeks. 8 times 8 became 64. Babban will sell 64 bags in 8 weeks. Babban sells each bag for 150 rupees. To find out how many rupees Babban earned by selling 64 bags, we only have to multiply 64 bags by 150 rupees. Children, 
Can you tell what the answer will be? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children, your answer is absolutely right. Babban will earn 9,600 rupees by selling 64 bags of 150 rupees in 8 weeks. Babban made a lot of profit from his shop and after earning a lot of money, he bought a new house for himself. Children, in this video, we learned to solve word problems related to multiplication. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of this. Children, in the previous video, we learned to solve word problems related to multiplication. In this video, we will learn more about it by some more interesting examples. Chanda and Appu together have opened Chappu Travel Company. With the bus service of Chappu Travel Company, villagers can travel from Champapur to Pampapur. For the first few months, few people were travelling in their bus service. But ever since new buildings have started coming up in Pampapur, their bus service has become very popular. Chanda, can you tell me how many people from our bus service will travel from Champapur to Pampapur in a year? Appu asked Chanda. Come, let me teach you how to find this out. Every month, 718 people use our bus service to travel from Champapur to Pampapur. And we have to find out how many people will travel by our bus service in a year? Appu, how many months are there in a year? Chanda asked Appu. Twelve months. Appu quickly replied. That's correct. So, we have to multiply the number of people traveling every month by twelve. We will multiply 718 by twelve. Chanda told Appu. I can multiply this Chanda. 718 times 12 is... Eight thousand six hundred and sixteen. Wow! So many people will use our bus service. Appu happily told Chanda. And we are even running the bus service to more places. Appu said excitedly to Chanda. Appu, our Chappu Travel Company is doing very well. Then, why don't we start a plane service from Champapur to Ulta Pulta Nagar now? Chanda told Appu. Yes, Chanda, that's a very good suggestion. Let us buy an airplane too. Appu said to Chanda. Chappu Travels started air service from Champapur to Ulta Pulta Nagar. The Chappu Travel Company takes 124 people from Champapur to Ulta Pulta Nagar every hour through its airplane service. Children, if the airplane service of Chappu Travel is run all day, can you tell me how many people from Champapur go to Ulta Pulta Nagar in one day through this service? If you want, you can stop the video and think about the answer. Well done kids, your answer is absolutely correct. There are 24 hours in a day. So, 124 times 24. That is, 2,976 people travel from Champapur to Ulta Pulta Nagar in a day by the airplane service of Chappu Travels. Chappu Travels achieved a lot of success in a very short period of time. And with more enthusiasm, Chanda and Appu started looking for ways for the villagers to travel in modern ways. 
children in this video we saw some more interesting examples of solving word problems related to multiplication in the next video we will see more funny word problems related to this hello children in the previous video we saw some more interesting examples of solving word problems related to multiplication in this video we will see some more funny word problems related to this painting of meenu's house is about to begin there are three such rectangular walls in her house bablu has come to play at meenu's house i will paint these three walls in different colors meenu told bablu yes meenu then it will look very beautiful you must definitely put your favorite pink color on the wall with the most area bablu said to meenu wow bablu you have made a very good suggestion but which of these three walls is the wall with the most area meenu asked bablu hmm let's find it by finding the area of these three walls let's start with this wall first this wall is rectangular so how are we going to find its area bablu asked meenu to find the area of any rectangle we multiply its length by breadth the length of this wall is 15 meters and breadth is 7 meters meenu you are an expert in multiplication quickly tell me how much is the area of this wall bablu asked meenu 15 times 7 will be 105 the area of this wall is 105 square meters Minu quickly multiplied and said to Bablu Absolutely right this wall is also rectangular so the area of this wall will be 9 times 7 or 63 square meters Bablu told Minu Now we just have to find the area of this wall and then he will know Which one of these walls has the maximum area? Meenu told Bablu. Children, can you find the area of this rectangular wall? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. The area of this wall is 21 times 7 or 147 square meters. Your answer is absolutely correct. Meenu wrote the area of the three walls on a paper. Look Bablu, the area of this wall is 147 square meters, which is the maximum area. So, I will put my favorite pink color on this wall. Meenu excitedly told Bablu Bablu my father said that it takes 125 rupees per square meter to paint the wall Meenu told Bablu It means we have to multiply its area by 125 to find out how many rupees it would take to paint this wall pink What will be 147 times 125? Bablu asked Meenu. Meenu quickly found the answer by multiplying it this way. It will take 18,375 rupees to paint this wall. Meenu told Bablu. So many rupees. Come on Minu we will take Babban's help and paint these walls ourselves he can paint these walls for us at a very cheap price 
Bablu said to Meenu. Meenu liked Bablu's suggestion and both of them started painting the walls with Babban's help. Children, in this video we saw even more funny word problems related to multiplication. Hello kids, in this video we will learn how to divide two numbers. This time a lot of mangoes have grown in the garden of Barbole uncle. When uncle counted those mangoes, he came to know that he had a total of 1527 mangoes. Uncle decided that he would form groups of four mangoes and distribute them among the villagers. Uncle said, I can do this by using the division process. I can divide these mangoes equally among 300 villagers by putting them in groups of four mangoes. Barbole uncle immediately filled all his mangoes in one bag and distributed them in groups of four mangoes equally among the 300 villagers. When uncle returned home, he saw that there were still some mangoes left in his bag. Barbole uncle immediately wrote it down on a piece of paper. Uh, 1527 divided by 4. I distributed 4 mangoes to 300 villagers. That means I distributed 300 multiplied by 4. That is 1200 mangoes. Uncle thought. Now, uncle wrote 300 here. And here he wrote 1200. To find the number of mangoes that are left, I would subtract 1200 from 1527. Now I have 327 mangoes left. I can also distribute these 327 mangoes in groups of 4 among the villagers. If I distribute these 327 mangoes in groups of 4, then I can distribute these mangoes to 80 more people with each of them getting 4 mangoes. In this way, I will be able to distribute 320 mangoes. Uncle wrote 80 here and wrote down 320 at the bottom. Now, Barbole uncle deducted 320 out of 327. Good! I will still have 7 mangoes left. That means I will be able to give 4 mangoes to one more villager. Thinking this, uncle added 1 here and wrote 4 at the bottom. In the end, uncle subtracted 4 from 7 and thus wrote 3. Now I cannot distribute these remaining 3 mangoes because I cannot make a group of 4 mangoes to distribute among the villagers. So I shall keep the remaining 3 mangoes. But how many villagers did I totally distribute the mangoes to? Uncle thought. 
children can you find out how many villagers did uncle distribute four mangoes to to find out we just have to add the numbers written here we add 300 plus 80 plus 1 so we get 381 Barbole uncle distributed four mangoes each to a total of 381 villagers. Uncle distributed the mangoes to the villagers and has now happily returned home and is eating the three mangoes that were left for him. Children, if Barbole uncle had 2524 mangoes, could you use the same process of division learned now to find out how many villagers would he be able to distribute four mangoes each to? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. We can find out by doing division in this way so that uncle can divide 2524 mangoes into groups of four mangoes and divide it equally among 631 people. Children, in this video, we learn to divide two numbers. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples based on this. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned to divide two numbers. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples related to this. Children, you remember Babban's new shop, don't you? Babban has come again today to the city to buy things for his shop. He bought boxes of 35 color pencils. For 35 boxes of color pencils, the shopkeeper took 1,820 rupees from him. Now Babban is thinking, what is the cost of a single color pencil box? Just then, Gaggu was passing by from there. Babban asked Gaggu, Gaggu, I bought 35 boxes of color pencils for 1,820 rupees. Can you tell me what is the cost of one color pencil box? Babban, you can find the answer using the process of division. Come, let me teach you a simple process of division. Gaggu told Babban. Gaggu wrote these numbers on a paper like this. Look Babban, here we are dividing 1820 by 35. First, we start with the number written in 1000th place. Can we divide 1 by 35? Gagu asked Babban. No. So, we shall write a zero up here. Now we will look at the next digit and join it with the first. 18. Can we divide 18 by 35? No. So, we'll write one more zero above. Now, can we divide 182 by 35? Yes. 35 times 5 is 175. All right. So, we will write... 5 here and 175 down here. 
Now we will subtract 175 out of 182. Now we will bring down 0 and write it next to the 7 at the bottom in this way. Now at the end, tell me Baban, can we divide 70 by 35? Absolutely. 35 times 2 is 70. Baban said to Gagu. Well done, Baban. So, we will now write 2 here and write 70 at the bottom. 70 minus 70 is 0. We got our answer, Baban. Gagu told Baban. Oi, goody! The cost of one color pencil box is 52 rupees. Baban told Gagu excitedly. Yes, Baban. See how easy it is. Saying that, Gagu left from there. Now, Baban bought 16 toys for 5,568. Baban wants to find out how much each toy is worth by using the simple division process learned from Gagu. Children, can you help Baban in finding the answer? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Yes, that's absolutely right. We can find the answer using division in this way. 5568 from here became 348 out here. This means the price of each toy is 348 rupees. Children, in this video, we saw some more interesting examples of dividing two numbers. In the next video, we will see some more fun examples of doing division. In the previous video, we saw some more interesting examples of dividing two numbers. In this video, we will see some more fun examples about doing division. A stage play is going to be held in Champapur's fair. 976 people are coming to see the play. For the audience to come in the play, Chanda has to set up chairs in such a way that there are eight chairs in each row. She is thinking how many rows she has to make so that no chair is left empty. Appu was then passing by. He asked Chanda, Chanda, what are you doing? I am trying to figure out how many rows of eight chairs can I make so that I can divide the audience of 976 people in such a way that no chairs are left vacant. Chanda told Appu. You can find the answer by using the division method. Let's both use the division method to find a solution. Appu told Chanda. Both Chanda and Appu started looking for answers to 976 divided by 8. I found the answer, Appu. See this. Chanda told Appu. I also found the answer, Chanda. 
Appu showed his paper to Chanda. What is this? Both Chanda and Appu have used division in different ways. Let us see if the answer from both their division methods is same. First, we will see the division that Appu did. Appu first saw that 8 times 100 is 800. So he wrote 100 on the top. And from the 976 below, he subtracted 800 and wrote 176. Now Appu saw that 8 times 20 is 160. So he added 20 above and at the bottom he deducted 160 from 176 and wrote 16 at the bottom. Now finally Appu saw that 8 times 2 is 16 and he quickly wrote down 2 at the top and he deducted 16 from 16 and wrote 0 at the bottom. In this way, according to the process of Appu's division, the 976 chairs can be equally divided into rows of 8 chairs each by adding the numbers 100 plus 20 plus 2. That is 122 rows. Now, let's see how Chanda did this division. Chanda saw that she could divide 9 by 8. 8 times 1 is 8. So she wrote 1 above and subtracted 8 from the 9 and wrote 1 below. Now Chanda wrote the next number, 7, next to the 1 below. Because 8 times 2 is 16, Chanda saw that she could divide 17 by 8. She immediately wrote the 2 above and subtracted 16 from 17 below and wrote 1. Finally, Chanda wrote down the next number, 6, next to 1. Once again, she thought that 8 times 2 is 16. So she could divide 16 by 8. She quickly wrote 2 above and at the bottom she wrote 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. In this way, Chanda got the answer of 122 rows. Chanda and Appu were shocked when they saw how to do each other's division. Both used different procedures, but both had exactly the same answer. Chanda took the help of Appu and quickly made 122 rows of 8 8 chairs each and used all the 976 chairs. Chanda also has to arrange laddus for the audience coming to watch the play. Chanda has a total of 5856 laddus. If she has to arrange for 6 laddus for each audience, can you guess if Chanda has enough laddus for 976 spectators? To solve this problem, you should use one method of division and ask your friend to divide it by another method. Is the answer that both of you got exactly the same? We can find a solution to this question by these Two procedures. Well done, children. 
and your friend has also found the answer to this perfectly. The answer is exactly the same for both of you. Chanda will be able to distribute 5856 laddus in a group of 6 laddus equal to 976 spectators. Therefore, Chanda has plenty of laddus for all the viewers. The audience enjoyed the drama a lot and also relished the laddus. They all had a lot of fun. Children, in this video, we saw some more interesting examples of performing division. Children, in this video, we will learn to solve word problems related to division. Golu has started selling a special masala milk at his dairy. Everybody likes that masala milk very much. Golu has realized that if he will sell 3480 bottles in a year, he will make very good profits. Now, Golu is trying to find out how many bottles of masala milk he will have to sell in a month. Children, can you help Golu? If Golu sells 3480 masala milk bottles in a year, what process will we have to use to find out how many bottles he will sell in a month? That's correct! Process of division. Let us solve it together. A year has 12 months. Therefore, we will divide 3480 by 12. Can we divide 3 by 12? No. So, we will write 0 up here. Now, can we divide 34 by 12? Yes. 12 times 2 is 24. So here we will write 2 above and below 24. 24 will write 10. Now, because we cannot divide 10 by 12, we will write 8 down here next to 10. Children, can we divide 108 by 12? Exactly! 12 times 9 is 108. So here, we will write 9 above and below 108. We will write 108 minus 0. Now, we will write the last digit, 0, down here next to this 0. Can we divide 0 by 12? Yes, 12 times 0 is 0. So, we will write 0 up here and minus 0 minus 0 left. Golu must sell 290 masala milk bottles every month. Golu also found the solution like you. Golu becomes very happy thinking that he will sell so many bottles of masala milk. I will make a lot of money by selling so many masala milk bottles. With that money, I will open a store of eggs. If I sell 1974 eggs a week, I will earn more money. Then, I will buy a farm. But, how many eggs would I have to sell each day to do this? Golu thought. Can you find an answer to this question, children? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Yes, there are 7 days in a week. Therefore, to find a solution to this question, 
we have to divide 1974 by 7. We can find the answer in this way. Golu will have to sell 282 eggs a day. Golu was lost in his thoughts when he noticed the long queue in front of his dairy. He thought that if he does not work hard, how will he be able to fulfill his dreams? Thinking of this, Golu quickly started selling masala milk to his customers. Children, in this video, we learned to solve word puzzles related to division. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples related to this. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned to solve word problems related to division. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. The wedding season is going on in Champapur. A lot of people have come to Chacha's shop to buy new clothes. Chacha has a cloth of this design which has become very popular. Babban is going to be married to Banno Bandaria. Babban has to make kurtas of this design for all the guests at his wedding. Chacha has a cloth which is 925 meters long of this design. Now, Chacha is thinking, It takes a 3 meters long cloth to sew a kurta. So, how many kurtas for the guests will I be able to sew with a 925 meters long cloth? Children, can you help Chacha find a solution? If you wish to, you can pause the video and find the answer. To find the solution to this question, we will use the process of division. We can divide 925 by 3 in this way. Chacha can make 308 kurtas for the wedding guests. Will Chacha have any more cloth of this design left over after stitching 308 kurtas? Yes, after stitching 308 kurtas, a 1 meter long cloth will remain with Chacha. From my side, I'll stitch a few handkerchiefs with the remaining cloth for Babban and some of his special friends. If one handkerchief is 25 centimeters long, how many handkerchiefs can I make with this one meter long cloth? Chacha wondered. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. I can find this answer by dividing 100 centimeters by 25. In this way, Chacha divided 100 by 25. Chacha will be able to sew 4 handkerchiefs with 1 meter long cloth. Chacha was able to sew kurtas for all the wedding guests and he made handkerchiefs for Babban and his three special friends. Babban was married with a lot of pomp and celebration. And all the wedding guests liked their kurtas very much. Children, in this video we saw some more interesting examples of solving word problems related to division. In the next video, we will see some more interesting word problems related to this. Hello kids! In the previous video, we saw some more interesting examples of solving word problems related to division. 
in this video, we will learn to solve some more interesting word puzzles related to this. Bunny and Appu bought lottery tickets today. They thought that if any of them won the lottery, they would distribute the winning amount among the needy villagers. The next day, the number of winning lottery was printed in the newspaper. It was found that Appu won the lottery. Appu received 7,555 rupees as the reward. Both friends decided that they would distribute the amount by giving 50 rupees to each of the poor villagers. Bane, can you tell how many villagers will we be able to distribute this reward to? Appu asked Bunny. This is very easy. We just have to divide 7,555 by 50. Bunny told Appu. Children, can you find the answer by using the process of division? If you wish to, you can solve it by pausing the video. We can divide 7,555 by 50 in this way. Bunny and Appu will be able to distribute 50 rupees to 151 poor villagers with the amount they won. But Appu, we still have 5 rupees left. We can buy toffees for young children with these 5 rupees. Bunny told Appu. Yes, Bunny. A toffee is worth 25 paise. So now tell me, how many children will we be able to give toffees to? Appu asked Bunny. We will have 5 rupees left and 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. So, 5 rupees is equal to 500 paise. Now, it is very easy. We only have to divide 500 by 25. Bunny said to Appu. So, Appu quickly divided 500 by 25. Bunny, we will be able to distribute toffees to 20 young children. Appu told Bunny. That's absolutely correct. With this money, let's buy toffees from the market now and then distribute this money as well as the toffees to the villagers and children. Bunny told Appu and then both friends started walking towards the market. Children, in this video we learned to solve even more fun word puzzles related to division. children in this video we will learn to solve division and multiplication puzzles babban made a lot of profit from his new shop now babban is thinking that he will start a poultry babban bought 725 hens I have to build coops for these hens. If I keep 25 hens in each coop, how many coops will I have to build? Thought Babban. Children, can you help Babban? If you wish to, you can pause the video and find the answer. We have to use the process of division to find a solution to this question. We can find the answer in this way, by dividing 725 by 25. Babban would have to build 29 coops to keep his 725 hens. Babban built 29 coops for his hens. Babban takes great care of his hens. He also feeds them twice a day. A week later, Babban noticed that his hens had laid lots of eggs. Each of his hens had laid 
six eggs. Each of my hens has laid six eggs. So, how many eggs in total do I have now? Thought Babban. Children, can you tell how many eggs does Babban have in total? If you wish to, you can pause the video and think of the answer. We have to use the process of multiplication to find the total number of eggs. Each hen has laid six eggs. So to find the total number of eggs, we will multiply six by 725 like this. Babban has a total of 4,350 eggs. Oh wow! I have 4,350 eggs. Babban was very happy and opened a new shop and started selling eggs. Children, in this video, we learned how to solve division and multiplication puzzles. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of this. Hello children! In the previous video, we learned how to solve division and multiplication puzzles. In this video, we will learn more about it through some more interesting examples. Raju, Bablu and Pinky are out in search of treasure. All three have this kind of a map and this message. You will all start from zero. You will have to do the math according to the symbols you see on the way. By doing the math along the way, you will reach the end of the map. You will get as many gold coins as your answer when you reach the end. There are three routes. But in the end, there is only one route. By walking on which, you can get the most treasure. I'll take the first route, said Raju. I'll take the second route, said Bablu. And I'll go to the third route, said Pinky. The three friends followed their respective routes. Let's see what Raju got on his chosen path. Oh, here there's a symbol to add 15. 15 added to 0 is 15. Raju wrote the addition on a paper. Raju started walking further. Oh, now here 224 is written along with the multiplication symbol. That means I have to multiply 15 by 224. Raju quickly multiplied 224 with 15 in this way and wrote down the answer. Now, after walking some distance, Raju saw this symbol. So far, I have got 3360 as the answer. And on this symbol, it says divide by 12. That means I have to divide 3360 by 12. Thought Raju. He quickly found the answer to the division in this way. 280. Raju reached the end by walking some distance and found gold coins in the treasure. Oh wow! I got 280 gold coins! Raju was happily dancing when Bablu and Pinky also reached there with the gold coins they found in the treasure. Children, can you do the math written on the map and find out which of these three got the most gold coins? If you wish to, you may pause the video and find the answer.
Well done children, you have solved it absolutely correctly. Bablu got the most. 784 gold coins. The three friends happily returned home with their treasures. Children, in this video, we saw some more interesting examples of solving division and multiplication puzzles. In the next video, we will see more fun puzzles related to this. Hello children, in the previous video, we saw some more interesting examples of solving division and multiplication puzzles. In this video, we will see more fun puzzles related to this. Today, the king of Champapur has announced to find the most intelligent villager. He has created this puzzle. Whoever is able to solve this puzzle will be declared the most intelligent villager in Champapur and will be given 500 gold coins as prize. All the villagers tried a lot. But Barbole uncle could find a solution to this puzzle. Children, do you want to know how uncle found the answer to this puzzle? Let's see. When the king asked Barbole uncle to come to collect his reward, he asked him to let all the villagers know how he found the answer to this puzzle. I first saw where to start solving this puzzle. There are mathematical symbols everywhere and there are empty spaces next to it. There is only one place where the numbers on both sides of the multiplication are written. Therefore, first, I found the answer of 736 times 15 in this way and wrote 11,040 on this blank space. Then I noticed that as soon as this blank is filled, I have to find the next number, which when multiplied by 12 gives the answer 11,040. And as we know, we can write any multiplication as a division. So, I divided 11,040 by 12 to fill this blank. And then wrote the answer of the division 920 in this blank. Now it is very easy. All I had to find was the number which when multiplied by 40 gives the answer 920. Once again, by writing this multiplication as division in this way, I wrote the answer of 920 divided by 40. 23 in this blank space and with this I solved this puzzle. Barbole uncle explained to all the villagers. Impressed by uncle's intelligence, all the villagers started clapping loudly. The king declared uncle as the most intelligent villager in Champapur and gave him 500 gold coins as reward. Children, in this video, we learned to solve even more fun puzzles of division and multiplication.